So welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to go over the low orbit ion cannon uh, from my last video. For those that are came from my last video, uh, we went over um, the HPing three program and um, how we can uh, execute a denial of service attack to a web server. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the same thing but in um, the low orbit ion cannon program and I'll also compare the effectiveness of both of those uh, using the end load on our um, Ubuntu uh, virtual machine. So let's get straight into it. So I've got my um, Linux, uh, sorry my Kali machine here and Ubuntu is here. Let me just log into that one. Okay, so we've got our end load here. All right. Now, what you'll need to do is, if you haven't already installed um, the low orbit iron cannon, you'll have to uh, download that and um, I could just copy that to a directory somewhere on your um, Kali machine. And then you will also need to install Mono, um, which is uh, Mono is basically uh, like a Microsoft Net framework for Linux. So uh, if you haven't used Mono before, that's fine. You'll only need to run the um, low orbit iron cannon executable with Mono inside of um, inside of Kali. So let's just run that, and this is what um, the low orbit iron cannon looks like. So we're going to specify pretty much the same things that we did uh, for HPing 3. Um, so the IP address of the Ubuntu server is 10.0.2.6. And um, we're going to lock on to that. Um, and then we are just going to configure these settings. So we've got port 80 set. That's fine. Uh, we're going to select, um, we'll select TCP for this and um, uh, threads uh, we can change this to if you would if you were doing this on a um, on a different sort of environment you might want to keep the threads a bit low because um, the the system that you're attacking or even your own system might not be able to actually keep up with that so uh, because I know that this is a local network and it's an internal NAT network um, I can set this to like something crazy like 200 and that will be fine um cool so that's pretty much everything set now let's just make sure that i've got yep so we've got end load running here so let's click on start and look at that so look at that incoming traffic um it's almost it's almost topping 700 megabits per second um and this will also depend on your um your hard drive speed as well um because if you've got a relatively slow hard drive you'd have um, essentially a slow internal network um, it will all will come down to your own uh, computer components really as to what speed you achieve but to compare this to something like um, hping3 where if we stop this let that go back down and then i can go to my hping3 run that again so this one we're only getting like a tenth of what we're getting with the um low iron um low orbit iron cannon so you can clearly see there that the loic program is far more effective than uh hping3 um hping3 might be easy to use for a distributed denial of service attack if you had multiple systems um, you could just run a script on all of those systems to go ahead and, and attack one machine um, which will be a bit more difficult to do with the LOIC uh, but uh, yeah you can clearly see the difference between the two programs and um, and that's how you use the low iron uh, low orbit iron cannon um, and uh, that's it for this video so uh, stay tuned for future videos again leave a comment below let me know if you want to see anything else and um, let me know how the audio has been for these last couple of videos as well because i know we've had some audio problems um the one that i actually thought i fixed was a bit echoey so i think i fixed that now too so um we're getting into it we're perfecting things um 
but yeah hopefully it should be okay from now so thanks for watching and um remember to like and subscribe as well and um uh let me know if there's anything else you want me to do a video about thanks